struck me when I read Jane's book was that these are family jobs, historically. Mm -hmm. And that that was the institutionalization of the racism and the sexism was that your uncle, brother, cousin, mm -hmm. you coached them to take the, job, the, the right. test and you prepared them. And so is it a family job for women? Are the, the first class, are they recruiting their nieces, well, cousins? Um, we have two sisters uh, that are firefighters right now. Um, I mean, we haven't gotten to mother-daughter yet. Um, we have, let's see. I don't know that women are recruiting their family members, and the same thing goes for black firefighters as well. Um, one of my proudest, proudest uh, achievements in the fire department was uh, working every year that they had an exam, I would work with the um, training program uh, to, to help the young women pass the physical. And Brenda would go out and get money from um, the Women's Old Women's Foundation, Foundation uh, an insurance company the first year in 1988. And, um, you know, and then she'd kind of hand it off and she'd go run around the country and the rest of us would would work on the training program. And John Jay College uh, initiated uh, training through the exercise physiology department. And one of the uh, headstrong young women that, that I helped train um, back in 1990 was uh, Anna Skirmahorn, who's now a lieutenant. And um, she told me two years ago, she said, I always remember something you told me, which was, you know, replace yourself. Well, you know, Anna is, uh, I can't claim that I replaced myself with her. She's Nordic and built and, uh, <laughs> you know, but um, mentally, you know, she, she got it. And right now, um, Anna's pet project is, uh, she works with the New York State Women Fire uh, Service and it covers the whole state. And for the last three years they've run for free a one-week camp up in Utica, New York for young women that are interested in the fire service. So, you know, she got it. And that's all that you can do. You know, you can try and, and uh, influence people. Um, my nephew, I would have loved to have gotten him into the fire department, but there are other, there are other uh, pulls on people that, you know, you, you can't really replace yourself as much as you would like to. But you're right, um, in terms of the family um, issue that comes up. But it doesn't come up as much now because I, I remember in 1980s, 30,000 people would apply for the fire department test and made a lot of money for the New York City Department of Personnel, you know, $50, $35. And only, you know, they generate a list of 400 names and they'd hire 200 people. But you figured, somebody else do the math. 30,000 people at $50 a pop, yeah, quite a bit of money. And so, so uh, it wasn't just family. I, I remember when I was working in recruitment, we had a guy from New Zealand call. You know, so um, yeah, that's the way they like to, to believe that it's, you know, it should work, it's family, 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 but 